Hi, I'm Tom Papadis. We're going to do a segment today on sandwiches. Uh, the first sandwich I want to do is essentially it's a, bre it's a breakfast sandwich. It's a ham, egg, and cheese sandwich. Uh, you can use bacon, egg, and cheese. You can sausage, egg, and cheese. Uh, the basis being egg and cheese. Uh, if you don't want cheese, don't put the cheese on. But it's, a, it's kind of a good sandwich that I've learned to make over the years. Um, I know my kids enjoy it. Uh, that's how I first got started was my son when he was little. He always said, Daddy, I, said, I want a cheese sandwich. Well, a cheese sandwich was like an egg and cheese sandwich or a ham egg and cheese sandwich. So very simply what we're going to do, we're going to put our pan on our, hot, on our hot plate, go to about medium heat, medium high heat, I'm sorry, um, and we're going to coat the pan. It's a non-stick pan, but it doesn't mean that it's necessarily non-stick. Uh, what I like is for my pan, for my egg to kind of slide in the pan. So what we're going to do is put a little bit of butter in. We'll put that butter in there, let that melt. We're going to start out with an egg. Uh, let's see, we're going to give it a couple seconds here. And what I'm doing here is I, I coat the pan real well with this butter. Um, butter, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I've, this whole thing with uh, trans fatty acids and, and everything with oils, uh, I think that the body can handle butter a lot better than it can a lot of these oils. Uh, so I tend to use a moderate amount of butter uh, and use it sparingly. Don't use big gobs of it, but use enough that you can do what you need to with it. Um, so we're letting this melt down. Let's see where we're at here. And what I do is I just kind of let that kind of flow and coat the pan real nice. We'll get most of that covered. And that's pretty good. I want to get that nice and hot. So that whenever I break my egg, what's going to happen is, is it's going to stay in place. It's not going to run all over the place. The whole thing that we do with this is once I break the egg, I'm going to break the yolk. Um, this particular sandwich, some people will like to use like a scrambled egg. Personally, myself, I don't like to use a scrambled egg. I just basically put the egg in there and give it a break, just like this. Let's go with it. We're going to go ahead and break the egg. Put your thumbs together, pull it apart so you don't get any shells, nice and easy, just like that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my shell and just bust the yolk, just like that. That's it. Now, we're going to let that start to fry up. I like to give it a little shake. We kind of make sure that things are... There it is. You can, if you actually see the egg here, the yolk just broke and it's just kind of flowing. Our egg is starting to fry up real nice for us right now. You can see I kind of give it a little nudge in the pan. The butter helps that kind of slide around in the pan like that. Okay, we got that kind of going. I'm going to give it just a couple seconds here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to flip this. And when I flip it, like I said, we're going to put the ham on at that point. So right now we've got that to about that point. What I want to do is get this to a point where I can just shove this in real quick. Boom, up, oh, didn't go right. Let's go that way. There we go. Now we're going to flip that over. All right, I'm going to cut the heat back just a touch. We're going to put our ham on. I've got a couple slices of just a deli ham. Now what I'm going to do is just let that sit like that for just a couple seconds so that that underside of the egg can cook a little bit. And trust me, at this point, this thing's going to go pretty quickly for us. So what I'm going to do, I've got a little bit of seven grain bread here that I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and pop this in a toaster. So we're going to toast our bread. Get that going. Now, this egg is ready to be flipped, and we're going to put the ham on the bottom at this point. Okay? Once we get the ham on the bottom, we're going to take some good American cheese. This is good, real American cheese, not that stuff with a bunch of oil in it. Um, for it. Go to the deli, have them slice good American cheese for you. Okay? We're going to put that on there. Now, I'm going to, at this point, I'm going to cut this heat off. We're going to turn it off completely, and we're just going to let that set. The gauge on this, when that toast pops, this is ready to go, okay? We're going to let that melt. If you're, if you're big into cheese, guess what? Throw another piece on if you like cheese, okay? We're just going to go with one at this point. You can see the cheese is starting to melt. So we're going to wait for this cheese to melt, and... As soon as the cheese is done melting and our toast pops up, we're going to have ourselves a nice breakfast sandwich. 
Okay, our toast is popped up. At this point, we're going to take, open your, open your bread up like this. Take, come in underneath your ham. Put it right on there like that. Take my pan, take my pan off of the burner. Just take this. If you like, if you want more butter, you can always butter this. It's a, to me, it's a little much. All you're going to do is put this on here like this. Just tack it down. Just like that. There's your breakfast sandwich.